I'm Dr. Lindsay Doe, clinical sexologist and host of this Sex Curious show, Sexplanations. Let's answer some predictive text questions about sex. Is sex work legal in Mexico? It knows where I am. As of 2019, sex work or prostitution was federally legalized in Mexico, which is not a perfect system because some states regulate with their own policies and protections for sex workers aren't universal. And maybe it pushes rape trafficking further underground, but it does acknowledge that sex work is a human right. Do I start a brothel chain in Mexico, like an artist residency for sex workers? Is sex binary? We have a binary system for sex, male, female, but it's not as common anymore because more people know and understand that there are more than two sexes, anatomically, genetically, gametically, like your gametes. There are so many great resources for people who want to learn more. Is sex overrated? I think it depends on who is involved. If I'm not interested in sex and I'm with a lover who can't read body language and just wants to slam, that would be pretty underwhelming. But I have had sex, which broke the scale. I couldn't rate it high enough. It was astonishing. Is sex supposed to hurt? Supposed to? No. Sex might hurt. There's this explanation called why sex hurts. And it can hurt, like let's say you want it to, but sex doesn't have to hurt. It's not like part of the deal. Is sex a sin? Most of what we do is sinful according to something written or said by a human. And some doctrine sinning is the nature of being human. There's an episode of sex explanations about whether or not masturbation is a sin. Is sexting cheating? Unless you and your partners agree that it's okay to send texts, photos, emojis of a sexual nature to others with the intent to titillate, good SAT word, then sexting is a form of intimacy which can be considered cheating. Is sex safe during pregnancy? Sex during a pregnancy can be done safely or safer if you're using all the same precautions like open communication about risk factors, STI testing, contraception as needed. And if you don't have other complications like vaginal bleeding, history of going into early labor, a placenta that's close to or covering the cervix, frequent abdominal pain, losing amniotic fluid, and a dilating cervix. Check this out. By stimulating the breasts, and having orgasms and then semen inside, all that can cause uterine contractions, which you may not want if you're looking to carry a baby to full term. Is sex important in a relationship? It depends on the relationship. For some, yes, it could be one of the most important factors and that's okay. For others, it's not important at all. And that's also okay. It's a spectrum. I do think that sexual health is important, period. That's your hygiene, well-being of your reproductive system, comfort with your identity and orientation, therapy if needed, and access to sexual health resources. Did I just operationalize sexual health? Amazing. Is sex exercise? It can be on par with walking at a moderate pace, around four calories burned a minute. A 2013 Frappier et al. study found that sex burned 85 kcals for moderate intensity and continued, these results suggest that sexual activity may potentially be considered at times a significant exercise. Then listen to this line. Moreover, participants reported that sexual activity was highly enjoyable and more appreciated than the 30 minute exercise session on the treadmill. Therefore, this study could have implications for the planning of intervention programs as part of a healthy lifestyle style by healthcare professionals. That's right, start recommending sex. Going to the gym is my new euphemism for intercourse. Is sex planations ending? When I first came back after time away, a lot of sex planations cost was coming out of my bank account. Patreon, you amazing humans, you, covered one episode a month. And if there was a sponsor, that would cover another episode. But anything else I paid to produce because I love sharing what I learn and I love teaching. Eventually though, I recognized that doing my job, all of the researching, writing, filming, editing, posting was actually harming me financially. The more I worked, the less money I had. And it didn't help that at this time, YouTube was deleting my content. The video on ethical porn, gone. The entire Sexplanations podcast uploaded to increase accessibility. We have reviewed your content and found severe or repeated violations of our community guidelines. Because of this, we have removed your channel from YouTube. What? YouTube took a whole 
channel down. They replaced it, but all the views and comments were gone. And I've been scared since then, knowing that they have the ability to disappear all of Sexplanations. When I asked on Patreon for advice, some of you recommended Nebula, a sharing platform in addition to YouTube. But I was also really scared about this, signing a contract, working with a company, the possibility of being told what to do, none of you following me there. But I talked to other Nebula creators and directly to Nebula's founder. I asked users, sexplanauts, I read reviews online, and I waited as long as I needed to for it to feel right, not just safe. That's a sexual metaphor. So Sexplanations isn't ending. I'm not even leaving YouTube. I'm just also on Nebula, surrounded by other teachers, and we're fairly compensated for our work. Not fairly like, eh, fairly, but like fairly. Equally, the pros. Nebula and its sibling company match me with sponsors, which takes this task off my list and lets me focus on sex, education. Nebula pays creators based on performance, not topic, so I don't make less because I'm a sexologist rather than an entomologist. And your views aren't worth less when you're learning about orgasms than when you're learning about the gregariousness of locusts. You can access Nebula originals like Broy de Chanel, Should We Get Rid of Sex Scenes, coming out October 30th, 2023, and maybe something I make, like a dating show. Nebula can be used offline on the mobile app, so you can watch Sexplanations when you're out in the wilderness and need condom fire starter instructions, or you're at sea without service and want to identify whale genitals. It's actually very cool and very sex positive. If you sign up using our link below, you can support sex education directly and get both Nebula and Nebula classes for 40% off annual plans, a little over $2.50 a month. Is Nebula so cool? Yes. Yes, it is. Stay curious. <laughs> Do I start a brothel train? Train, 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 train. <laughs> Sex work or prostitution was federally legalized in Mexico. It's Fly Castle, city of the flies.